Hi there. In this screencast, we'll take a look at the Daily Business Manager, specifically how we can process transactions directly from the Daily Business Manager, um, as well as add some notes. So first of all, um, I'm going to add um, automatic next check number. So if we go to Setup, Reports and Forms, that's where you add your check numbers. And for 1060, I'm going to say next check number 313. Now you would get this number from your actual check stock. You would have a stack of check stock in your printer and you would read that number. And I'll choose OK. And then I'll go, go to my uh, daily business manager. We can just click on DBM here or business assistant daily business manager. I prefer this method because it's more obvious. Um, oh, one thing I want to do is change my session date. So again, we'll be processing transactions directly from the Daily Business Manager. Those transactions that we'll process directly from the Daily Business Manager will use the session date. So I'm going to change my session date to March 31st. In real life, you would always want to back up. I'm not going to back up for our purposes. I'm just going to close these things. All right, so I'm going to go to my daily business manager. And I'm going to add, first, first of all, add some notes from March. So if I go back to March here, March 21st is what I'm going to add a note for. If I choose that date and then enter copy here, that will be a note added for that date. So we looked at how we can add entries to the Daily Business Manager via the memo field on our various records, inventory records, uh, payables, receivables, employees, etc. But we can also enter notes directly to the Daily Business Manager in this method. So we're going to say monthly staff meeting. Uh, use title case and we're going to say at 9 a.m. Now I want to process some transactions so um, we, if we have payments we have to make to suppliers we can just go to payments due and we can process directly from this screen. Payments don't require any source document numbers. So if I want to process a payment, I just choose all of the payments I wish to process. I'm just going to pay one. So I'll leave that Imperial Oil selected. You can use whatever you like. You can pay whatever invoice you like and you just choose post. Um, if you need to enter some additional information to the payment screen, this will open up the payments if you choose yes, but I don't need an, any additional information, and I'll choose no. And OK. Now let's quickly take a look at that. So there's the payment that I made. You'll notice the date is the session date. The check number is the check number entered in the check next check number, whatever appears there. And here's the payment. So we can process a payment directly from the Daily Business Manager. Now let's quickly um, receive a payment from a customer. So I'll go back to my Daily Business Manager, and this time I'm going to go to Sales Due. So this is uh, invoices that we are owed on. Now notice we don't have any post button. So what that means is we have to open up the transaction because it does require the check number from the customer. So I'm going to have uh, receive a payment from HG Palmer. So I'm just going to double click on that and it opens up in the receipts window. And 
that's going into our cash box, which we'll eventually deposit in a future video. And this is uh, their check number 152. So that's why we couldn't process it. But notice, HG Palmer gets chosen for us. The amount gets plugged in for us. So all we needed to enter was the bank account and the account number. So it saves us a bit of time. So that's basically the daily business manager. Again, we can add notes to particular days and we can process all of these types of transactions. Let me just show you one other option. If there's some, if you find that you don't use one of these tabs, you can lean this screen out a little bit. So if I go to my view menu and then options, this is where I get to choose what tabs are displayed. So if I, for example, never handle my sales, sorry, uh, basically, again, the payments from customers via my daily business manager, I can uncheck that. And now that sales due tab is gone. I'll just get it back. So that's the daily business manager, again, adding notes, receiving payments, making payments, and customizing your view. Thanks so much for watching.